So in this video, I want to show picking up a file from the OpenBCI GUI in semi-real time and then processing it with Touch Designer. Now this is uh, a nice proof of concept, but it is not really the way that I want to go for future design uh, because it involves using the GUI, which itself picks up a lot of resources, um, and then just getting it started. Um, there's a few hoops you have to jump through uh, to get this to work. So we'll see if this works in real time here. I was messing with this earlier this month and didn't make a video, but wanted to recap what I did here. So um, I've already got the OpenBCI GUI connected to my board, uh, Siten board, and I'm going to start this data stream. Um, when I start that data stream, I should see it's already created a current uh, file here. This is the file that this data is going into uh, in real time. Now, we'll just for now, we're going to kind of ignore the fact that we're not getting anything. I'm not holding any of these leads, but we could try one here just so we get some data on, let's say, channel 5 there. So that's real data coming through, and it's going into this file. If I go into my Touch Designer project now, I can navigate to where that file lives. And each time I restart the OpenBCI's GUI, it's going to be a different file. So I've got to do this every single time. So now I can get this file and I can bring that into Touch Designer, hopefully without anything freezing. There we go. Um, so now it's getting that file, and that file is going to be continually added to um, as we're accessing it here. So that's why I say it's semi-real time, because there's going to definitely be some delay by the time the file is saved and the latest save of that file being picked up by Touch Designer. And then from here, um, I can go through and do what I've been doing with some of the other videos I, I showed where... I'm converting this to a table, taking out the headers I don't need, uh, splitting out the index, and then splitting out the data for each channel. Uh, beyond this, this is really just a lot of experimenting, uh, trying to do something with the data, which I've done more with some of the other processes I've demonstrated. But for the most part, uh, just showing that that data could be picked up from a file that is coming off of the GUI application is really what I wanted to show.